This evening, a 20-day-long poker match between four professional players and an AI poker bot ended with a staggering loss for humanity. It was a highly anticipated rematch of a contest the humans won in 2015. But this time, Libratus, a bot designed by computer scientists at Carnegie Mellon, came to the table with a brand new algorithm, and it proved to be invincible. I honestly don't even know what to do here. I have no idea what to do here. Libby's the only bot that's ever put me in this spot, really. Whichever decision you choose will be the right one. It's honestly so much more stressful than, like, real money. While the bets against the bot weren't real in this contest, the stakes for the pros were slices of a $200,000 prize. It would be pretty cool if we win at this point, because right now it would be a major comeback. We got all of humanity behind us over here. AI bots have grown vastly more sophisticated in the last two decades and have defeated the best human players in complex games like chess, Go, and even Jeopardy. Poker, a much more difficult game for AI, was the final frontier. It's an opponent unlike any other. All humans, no matter how good they are, they'll have like a little bit of something that might hold them back in certain situations. And with Labratus, it's not like that. You know, it's just like, fuck you, I'm all in. We start with just the, the rules of the game and say, play yourself in poker for trillions of hands. And over time, it decides, you know, certain actions are good, certain actions are bad. And it tries to play the ones that are good more often. And eventually it arrives at a strategy that it thinks is close to perfect. It's doing things that humans would not do and it's, it's putting them in difficult situations. When you have 10, 20 seconds to make a decision, it's really hard to like, what am I gonna do? Pull up all these uh, graphs and ranges and hit a randomization button and be like, okay, that's it, go. In poker, you don't know your opponent's hand. And this competition featured a complex style of the game called Heads Up, No Limit, Texas Hold'em, with unlimited bet sizes and more possible hands than atoms in the universe. It's recalculating its strategy right now. Right now, Libratus is running here, and you can feel the heat. You can feel the heat when it's improving its strategy for today's match. The knowledge that the computer can automatically generate with our algorithms is much better than any human can put together and communicate. And it's uh, come up with very interesting strategies that humans don't usually play. So it's also calling to question much of the folk wisdom on how poker should be played. By day nine, the humans were down almost half a million dollars. At the competition's end, they are out three times that. The ramifications of the bot's win could be huge, pushing AI technology closer to a general intelligence that can apply to a range of applications, such as warfare, cybersecurity, and business. None of the algorithms that we use in this bot are limited to poker. Everything that goes into this can be applied to any situation with hidden information. Uh, so you can think of examples like negotiations, where you have certain objectives that you want to keep those hidden. It's not about defeating professionals at games. It's more about what this signifies. It shows that AI can now handle this hidden information better than humans can. Humans up until this point have had a for sure dominance in Heads Up No Limit, but I think it's pretty clear player two has entered the game. <laughs>